She is known for her contributions as a composer in the field of music. She studied composition and piano under notable teachers such as Fritz Hart, Arthur Benjamin, and Ralph Vaughan Williams. Her name is Peggy Glanville Hicks. In the realm of music history, one name stands out, Peggy Glanville Hicks, a legendary composer whose impact on the world of music is profound. Born in Melbourne, Australia, Glanville Hicks showed early promise in composition, studying under renowned teachers such as Fritz Hart and Waldemar Seidel. Her journey to musical greatness took her to the Royal College of Music in London, where she honed her skills in piano, conducting, and composition under the guidance of Arthur Benjamin, Constant Lambert, Malcolm Sargent, and Ralph Vaughan Williams. Glanville Hicks made history as the first Australian composer to have her work, The Choral Suite, performed at an International Society for Contemporary Music Festival. This achievement showcased her unique talent and innovative approach to composition. But Glanville Hicks' contributions to the music world didn't stop there. From 1949 to 1955, she served as a music critic for the New York Herald Tribune, following in the footsteps of renowned composer Paul Bowles. Working under the mentorship of Virgil Thompson, Glanville Hicks gained a deep understanding of music criticism and continued to compose during this time. She even held the position of musical director at the Museum of Modern Art in New York, further solidifying her presence in the music scene. Despite her success in America, Glanville Hicks sought new experiences and inspiration abroad. She lived in Greece from 1957 to 1975, immersing herself in the culture and music of the region. During this time, she organized a concert and asked George Antile to revise his ballet mechanique for a modern percussion ensemble. Her dedication to expanding the boundaries of music and supporting fellow composers was evident in her actions. Sadly, Glanville Hicks faced health challenges later in life. In 1966, she was diagnosed with a brain tumor that affected her eyesight. Although she underwent surgery and regained her sight, she lost her sense of smell as a result. Despite these obstacles, Glanville Hicks continued to compose and contribute to the music world. Peggy Glanville Hicks' legacy lives on even after her passing in 1990. Her will establish the Peggy Glanville Hicks Composer's House in her home in Sydney, Australia, providing a residency for both Australian and international composers. Additionally, the Peggy Glanville Hicks Address was established in her honor by the New Music Network in 1999, further cementing her impact on the music community. Glanville Hicks' dedication to pushing boundaries and supporting fellow composers serves as an inspiration to musicians around the world. In the realm of instrumental works, Peggy Glanville Hicks left an indelible mark with her compositions. One of her notable achievements is the Sinfonia de Pacifica, a powerful symphony that embodies the spirit of the Pacific region. Her talent extended to the piano, as evidenced by the Etruscan Concerto for Piano and Orchestra, a captivating piece that showcases her virtuosity. Additionally, Glanville Hicks crafted the Concerto Romantico for Viola and Orchestra, a mesmerizing composition that highlights the expressive capabilities of the viola. Another noteworthy creation is the Sonata for Harp, premiered by the renowned Nikaner Zabalita in 1953, which later earned the distinction of being named the most performed contemporary classical composition at the APRA Music Awards of 1996. Moving beyond instrumental works, Glanville Hicks made significant contributions to the world of opera through her remarkable compositions. One of her best-known operas is The Transposed Heads, a six-scene masterpiece with a libretto adapted by the composer herself from Thomas Mann's work. It premiered in Louisville, Kentucky, on April 3, 1954, captivating audiences with its intricate storytelling and musical brilliance. Another opera that showcased Glanville Hicks's genius is Nausicaa, composed between 1959 and 1960. Premiered in Athens in 1961, it is based on Robert Graves' novel, Homer's Daughter, presenting a unique perspective that challenges traditional interpretations of the Odyssey. Glanville Hicks collaborated with Graves and her friend Alastair Reed to create a libretto that brought this captivating story to life. While the premiere of Nausicaa was hailed as a triumph, unfortunately, the opera has not been restaged since. Undeterred by setbacks, Glanville Hicks embarked on her final opera, Sappho, in 1963. Originally composed for the San Francisco Opera, there were high hopes that the legendary Maria Callas would grace the stage in the title role. However, the company ultimately rejected the work, preventing its production. Despite this disappointment, Glanville Hicks's talent persevered, and in 2012, the opera was finally recorded by Jennifer Condon conducting the Gulbenkian Orchestra and Coro Gulbenkian, with Deborah Pulaski beautifully portraying the character of Sappho. Peggy Glanville Hicks's contributions to the world of music, both in instrumental works and opera, are a testament to her creativity and artistic vision. Her compositions continue to captivate audiences, leaving a lasting legacy that showcases her extraordinary talent and innovative spirit. Do you want to explore more composers?
Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.